Hey everybody, welcome back to episode 3 of Let's Chill and Play Some Eternal Darkness. Uh, old SC Hatter's been trying to... Just, he is giving me some tips. And hopefully... And hopefully we can follow through with them and whatnot. But the first thing he keeps begging me to do is uh, read this. Even these mythical fables completely amused. There has to be something to do around here. I only wish something that fantastic and higher purpose could happen to me. I guess little did she know it's all about to happen to her. And she's got a fucking sword, like it really legit is. Hold on, I gotta examine this. Oh, we've seen those before. Triangular design is carved into the floor. The etched grooves are filled with the colored sands. These symbols appear to be related to each other, with one having precedence over another. Okay. Just doing a little bit of jogging. A statue of a goddess delicately sculpted from sandstone it casts an, an alert eye over everyone who enters the temple there's a strange necklace about its neck should Elia take the necklace from the statue of course oh he has acquired a strange necklace necklace can be used to heal Elia make sure that Elia does not move when the spell is being casted being cast. Okay. Do I... Do I equip it? No. Not yet. So I'm just kind of wandering aimlessly. What is she, Egyptian? Sorry if y'all are hearing my GameCube just sitting there sputtering in the background. And engraved on the floor is a striking design featuring the sun sinking below the edge of the world. Okay. Okay, I didn't do that.
Okay, I'm trying to judge my distance. Oh, God. Okay, well. Whatever. It didn't do too much damage, but I tried. I literally tried. This one's consistent. No, it's not. Two. Boom. Okay. Maybe I should... I don't know if there was a way I could have avoided that. Perhaps. It's Eddie. When located by creatures, a sanity loss occurs, causing a decrease in the level of the sanity meter in the character to pull screen. Be aware sanity loss affects a perception and eventually health. Oh no, what'd I do? Sanity meter. This meter represents a character's sanity. Every time he, she meets a monster, his, her sanity will get lower. The lower the sanity meter gets, the more the character will <laughs> sorry, hallucinate. Okay, just do the usual. Can I finish him off? Oh yes, I can. Finish him. Pouring a finishing move on a creature recovers sanity. Okay, cool. I do like how it glows. Like finish him detail. A bronze necklace sits atop an ancient clay urn. Of course I'm going to pick it up. Da, da, da. Examine the altar, I guess. Detail. Design on the wall appears to depict a time of day. Perhaps the candles do too. Okay. Okay, let's see. Extinguish that one. Makes sense. I'd assume it made sense. I'm, I was just trying to go underneath. Wait, is it only opening up a little bit? Yes. Let's examine it. Or is that the way it's supposed to be? Engraved on the floor is a striking design featuring a brightly burning sun. Okay. Design on the wall appears to depict at the middle stage of day, the day of mankind. The image is now represented by the candles as well. Okay. Do I need to go back here? Did I miss something? Oh wait, let me go to the door and see if there's like a crawl through it. Nope, of course not. Wait, it is let me examine. Your door's open slightly, but not enough for Elia to get over. Is there another altar? Did I miss one? Probably back here. Ah. <sighs> I can't help that. I couldn't help that. But I can here. Maybe. Really? Dune. 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 Go. Alright. No! She can do combos. I like that. Sorry, I'm trying to finish him. Okay. See, yeah, there's candles in here. Design the wall appears to depict a time of the day. Perhaps the candles do too. Well, that makes sense. It's supposed to look like that. Or at least I think it does. I wonder if there's another... Like, another can't set of candles I gotta look at. Am I overthinking this? That over there is closed. I can't go in this door. <laughs> okay, I hear her getting tired. Okay, going back. 
I'm missing something. That's done. No, 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 no. Whoop. Okay, that doesn't matter. Over here. See, that wasn't so hard. Hmm. No, I represent it as well. What am I doing wrong? Is there another doorway I'm missing? Oh, no, I, don't, I can't keep fumbling around. I already see that. Return. Oh, God. I didn't mean to do that. This is not enough for me to get over. I can't move the camera. Can't see anything. Let's go back in here. See if I didn't. See if I missed anything. Shit. I don't think I missed anything. There's something over here. There's an opening here. Nope, it's not. It's just a wall. Jesus. I feel like... Hmm. That one's done. Is there a map somewhere? Bronze. I feel like a fool. It just fucking hit me. God. Detail. She got us. There. Damn. I had to use my big brain. Alright, on to the next part. Don't run, walk. The atmosphere right now. I've got my my neon moon playing, I mean my neon moon up above me, and then I got some glowing lights behind the computer screen. It's pretty neat. The design on the wall appears to depict a time of day. Perhaps candles do too? Question mark. Okay, the engraved on the floor is a striking design feature in the sun rising above the edge of the world. Alright. I see that. Definitely going to avoid the floor. Plates. Oh god, I thought that was going to trigger that. That's not going to be triggered. Boop. Made it. Uh-oh. He looks terrifying. Alright, cool. My sanity meter's filling up pretty nicely. Oh, of course. Details. The design on the wall appears to depict a time of day. Perhaps candles do too. Alright. Let's extinguish this one and this one. Done. Because there is no sun. And it's opened up all the way. And so is the other side, which means I might have to backtrack. Now, as far as which way? This way. I had to think for a second. Avoid the floor plates. This doesn't look fun at all. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, there is something here. 
pedestals a small pedestal covered with a decorative etching stand before the wall. The blowgun upon it must have some special significance for it to be the folk the focal point of this display. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna take the blowgun. Oh, fuck. Jesus. Ah, oh, God. This is terrible. Oh god, he's dead. Okay. Okay, only partial health. I guess I'll take it. My broken sword, I'll go ahead and take it. Oh shit. I feel like such a fucking jackass picking that thing up. I could have waited. Fucking die, goddammit. It'll die here in a minute. God damn it. Maybe it'll fuck him up. I think it did. Fuck off, dude. Fucking blowgun, dude. Am I like I wonder if I'm even doing this right? It's probably poison. Okay. It might be poison. Maybe. Maybe shooting them once would uh, do the trick, probably detail. There's a hole in the device as though something can be inserted, perhaps a key or a lever. And I don't have any of that. I'm thinking this way is where I need to go. Uh, it's like they, they want me... Oh, God, Lee. Well, let's go ahead and Freaking heal, I guess. Just timing it. Oh, Lord. Just run. I done fucked myself. Ooh, God damn it. done. Skip over that one. Oh, lord. Oh, god, that fucking block right there keeps fucking me up.
Where's that one come in at? Okay, I figured it out. But let's avoid this shit, too. Of course I didn't. Of course I, my, the pixel of my foot got right on it. No. What are they making? I'm just gonna let them fight. Let him have it. Take all of it, buddy. I'm rooting for you, Blue. He's gonna blow the fuck up. Hey, I'm fine with that. I'm going to assume that that's poison. Yeah. They just turned green. Yeah, just fuck, fucking shoot them once and then run away from them. Oh, you bastard. Oh, so he's still poisoned anyway. Fuck him. Finish him off. Boop. God, I need my sword back. Is there anything here that I need? Nope. Get me a glass of water. I'm so suspicious of fucking everything now. Uh oh. Judging how I haven't saved in like fucking forever, it'd probably be wise. Yes, sir. Let's go ahead and save it. Why would I not save? I mean, why would I not continue? Or why would I put it on save and then it just be like, oh. What is that? Metal staff sailed by the arms of the statue. Acquired the metal staff. A lot better than this fucking blowgun, that's for damn sure. I can't equip it. Oh, okay. What is it, though? Oh, it's a lever of some kind. Alright. Oh, 
Wait, am I missing something in here? I think I saved it. So if it, this is a stupid idea. Wait. A statue of a human female bears witness to the monstrosities that fill that fills this room. The porous stone of its body is covered with the ineffable, don't know what that means, grime that Mordok has in, secreted over the years. Secreted. I said secreted. Secreted. Yeah, don't touch the fucker. Oh, my bad. I've just been hauling ass. It's over here, though. Probably the same thing. Okay, stitch me here, people. Yep. Effluval. Around. Yeah, that's not fucking disgusting. The fact that this is a fucking Nintendo game. Nintendo made this. Blows my damn mind. Okay, door of formidable size seals the vault. A stylized design resembling the creature that dwells within the room is carved into the stone. Okay, so I'm not allowed to go in there yet. I mean, I know what to do with the metal rod. We gotta go back a couple of rooms. At least I think I know what to do with the metal rod. But I know if I have to walk like this the entire way, I could be fucked. Fucked. Oh, God. Is it not, do I have to fight the enemies in the room? I don't think I do. It's not like I'm getting XP for it. Just run. Now, here's what I don't like. Is avoiding all this bullshit. Okay, whatever. You can have it. Uh oh. Why is my sanity going down? I'd have done myself a favor. God damn it. Ah. Go back, sanity. Oh Lord! I triggered all this on accident with one little step, one little fucked up. One little tiny fuck up caused all that bullshit. Of course, that was God. Ooh, that almost chopped my damn toe off. Alright, it's just one. I keep thinking there's more than one. Oh, no. Shit. He's poisoned. Oh, my sanity's fucked, too, dude. Fuck off. I can tell you, I hate the camera angle already. It's making me sick. Hmm. Hurry up and die. Okay, recovered some sanity. Gonna recover some more, baby.
I think this is where I need to put that lever at. Okay. The metal staff. Oh, gee. All right, well, I guess I'm going back. All the way back. Let's try to, like, step carefully. I think there's some spots where it's like you have no choice. Like here, it's probably just going to trigger the whole thing. I don't know if there's a way I can dodge, so, eh. Fuck it. Oof, oof, oof. This will trigger it. As far as this goes, just avoid these steps. I have no choice with that one. Dun, dun. <sighs> what the fuck, dude? Here we go. Oh, these fuckers again. Do I have to? I don't think I have to kill them. I'm gonna go ahead and save it again. Like, I don't know how far I have gotten to this point, but I don't feel like backtracking like I just did. That was hell. And there might be a boss coming up, too. Who knows? Who knows kind of kind of wacky things this game will throw at me? Fool, you should have run. Instead, you will die. Where is the essence of Mantarok? child very well then you will succumb to the horrors of oblivion well that ends that chapter. Well, that ends that chapter, so I guess we'll just end it here on this episode. Um, I really appreciate y'all watching. If y'all don't mind, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode. Say goodbye.